I used to listen to good podcasts and everything was fine. But now I listen to this podcast as I lost my mind. My gym partner's a podcast. My gym partner's a podcast. Yeah! Bull shark, porcupine, I don't know what. Going to this school is a pain in the... Are you gonna love this guy? Prince Ali, absolute G, totally baller. Has more swag in just one bag than the 40 thieves. His club you cannot ignore. His ill rhymes will never bore. He's the littest gangster there be, oh Prince Ali. He's got 75 golden camels. That's all I got. That's all I got. Thank you. That's my, that was my uh, rap what, rendition. What's that? That was my rap rendition of Prince Ali. I'm going to be taking it uh, all across the states. Uh, Absolute G. <laughs> totally <What>? faller. <laughs> totally faller. <laughs> well, the, uh, thing, uh, the th- thing I want to say about that, Renee, is that was totally baller. <laughs> Got more swag in just one bag. <laughs> then, then the 40 Thieves. You, you see, I brought uh, it around to like reference, you know, Arabian Nights, all that. Yeah. So I didn't, but they already did that in Friend Like Me, so you're double referencing it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Come it's on, like there's Hulk, a- <laughs> come on, y'all. Hulk out. Come on. <laughs> get get out. With, I'm done with that one. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So welcome back <laughs> to my gym partners, the podcast. Gr- yes. Glad to have Lucy back on the show, so that we can. It's been a while. Uh, discuss it's, it's so nice. One of the last episode, few episodes of season two. We're coming up to the end of season two here. We- we are approaching the climax, and soon we will be entering a new frontier that I like to call <laughs> Season 3. That's right, everybody. We've, we've made it this far. <laughs> we're almost there. Not really, though, because there's almost, so many episodes of almost, the show. <laughs> almost halfway there. Halfway, <laughs> halfway there. there. <laughs> Not to mention the movie, which we're going to cover soon as well. Oh boy! Well, it's yeah. only an hour. Oh, how are we gonna like describe the... it? It's gonna be like a two-hour-long podcast. It's going to be. I mean, we could divide it into parts, or we, we could, could tag just... team. We can like get some people in here, and we could take a vacation. <laughs> we could do that, but <laughs> maybe that maybe that would be for the best, right? Just like. For the biggest, most anticipated episode, we just didn't do it. <laughs> what if we just didn't do the movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna do the movie. We're definitely gonna do it. And yeah, don't worry, everybody. We're gonna do the movie. <laughs> but anyway, we're not here to talk about the movie or the end of season two because we're still on it and it's still going strong. You know, a couple of yeah. pretty good episodes here, but don't you worry, yeah. we'll tear into it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude. So the episodes we watched were pranks for the memories of and? talking Teddy. <laughs> oh, I want. I thought. I thought we were gonna do like. A, I, I wanted to say the second one thing. All right. Oh well. <laughs> you just go ahead. You just keep talking. I'll just be over here. <laughs> Kurt, you have to. You have to prep me for this. You gotta put it in my notes <laughs> so I know. <laughs> uh, I ain't got no notepad. You. You're far away. How am I supposed to send you things? <laughs> Oh, gee, I don't know. Maybe through the dev- the the program we're using to communicate right now, <laughs> like Discord, what, like the miracle known as internet. <laughs> <laughs> Pranks for the memories and talking Teddy are episodes that I um, enjoy. They're, Did we say what podcast this is? This is my choice. <laughs> yes, Welcome yes, to I my gym partners a podcast. Okay, sorry. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're here to talk about my gym partners, a monkey. So, pre- these two episodes, I feel, are interesting character pieces each in their own right. <laughs> yeah, for once, it kind of feels not very Adam-centric, especially in the first one. I mean, like, he's, you know... He's a part the, of uh, it? He's, the, he's a part of it, right? He, he's he becomes the, more the foil than the straight man. But Yeah. yeah. Oh. It... We have Jake sort of getting a little bit of, you know, uh, justice. Justice. <laughs> well, so, okay, like let's start with how it, him. 
Let's just start. Okay, so pranks for the memory starts. Adam and Jake are on the school bus to school, and I think this is the first time we get a good look on the inside of the bus, of the like the, the, the Charles Darwin school bus, and it's mossy and disgusting. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I feel like expect. we've seen it before. We've seen it before in the first episode, and I felt like it was a lot cleaner than it is now. That I mean, was forever ago. I don't remember anything about well, the that first makes, episode. I mean, what do you expect? That was like towards the beginning of the year. There have been animals on this bus for like weeks and weeks. It's gonna get nasty. <laughs> so, Jake and Adam are just hanging out, I'm sitting next to each other as friends do, and Jake's explaining that oh, it's prank week, so everyone's gonna be relying on the biggest head prankster to be given the like the biggest wildest prank at school so that he can the prank. uh cheer up all of everyone's dreary mundane lives yes the prank master general if you will <laughs> yeah i really like that title and i want to be the prank master general <laughs> uh, hold on i need to be the prank master general well, hold on there's there's a bit of a conflict of interest here I, Why do you want to be? I, I kind of felt like I was deserving of the title of Prank Master General. Oh, you police! <laughs> Try again next year, kid. You're never gonna be the Prank Master General. You don't got the stuff. You don't got the gunter. <laughs> you don't um, got the spunk. <laughs> <laughs> there's a. There's... Not like Jacob P. Spider Monkey, anyway. <laughs> well, well, I don't, we don't even know if it's Jacob P. Spider Monkey either, because uh, Adam's like trying to guess, and he says all these names. He says like, oh, oh, Harry Hyena, Slips, and then Slips comes in and is like, oh, is it Adam? <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> is it Adam? Is it? Is it Adam? And then Whoa, it's just like, I will. Ha- I, I have to mention this um, early on that because I, otherwise I'm just gonna have to mention it like every every two seconds yeah there's a lot of scene transitions in this episode they're like an abundant amount like i feel like no scene lasts more than a minute yeah like in the very beginning of this episode it it feels like it it makes the whole episode feel a lot longer yeah just because of how many places we go oh the places we go in the beginning (laughs) it's it's between it's kind of refreshing actually because it's it's really packing in a lot of the content and it makes it feel filled like it it... i disagree (laughs) it's like it's like yeah remember that episode where the whole thing took place in one location the auditory (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well we have that side of the spectrum and i like this episode but i felt very disoriented because i felt like why did we need to go to all these different places i feel like this whole the idea of the episode could have been done in two locations instead of like like this setup could have been done without going to like five different places <laughs> like for some reason but it is a funny joke here where it just like transitions to their like in school and like he's still guessing and i like this and like jake is getting more and more like depressed he's like no no and he like lays his head down on his desk and then J- adam's adam's like <laughs> adam's like is it eddie and jake's like no who <laughs> it's like oh you know the panda with the headphones no no like, the panther oh. with no the it was a panther panther oh, sorry. sorry panther with the headphones and right like, oh. we're back on track now <laughs> he's like oh no that's not him either. Like, Renee, I like how both of us like just got up on Lucy about well, that. Well, like, you know, we learned a new character's name here, Eddie, the the the, the Black Panther Eddie. with the the tooth head gear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to talk about Eddie. Now. Uh, hey, no. <laughs> so that little that little uh, joyous little voice that i did just now (laughs) is a character i like to call eddie um it's a really good joke that i that me and my roommate created uh so y'all know the you you guys could just you know like act like you don't know much about eddie right okay what what's eddie uh, about eddie so like so like you know how there are three ed boys imagine if there was four you know how there's already two eds like they call them ed they call double d ed and they call like Ed, Ed, right? And Eddie has a Y, and it's kind of different. So I was thinking, how about Eddie, but 1D, Y, right? And Eddie is just this little, like, 
I, I imagine it looks exactly like the... You know the baby from Silent Hills? <laughs> the, the old Silent Hills? The cancelled uh, Silent the, Hills? Yeah, the, the, sa- the thing that makes... Me- the little jelly baby. Yes. It, it looks. Eddie looks like that, but with three hairs on his head. And all he does is go, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie! And, like, he slowly drives them to madness. And that's his whole Mostly thing. Mostly Double D, though. Yeah, like... Double D's just like, I want to dissect it! <laughs> <laughs> like the longer, the longer that like Eddie is around them, the more off they become, and just Ed, he's like, I want to eat it, Double D, and fucking, and normal Eddie, our Eddie, is just like, make it stop! <laughs> I can't take. <laughs> anyway, that's Eddie, my good joke. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Where we are we on my? <laughs> Jake. Okay, thankfully this episode isn't very plot heavy because um Jake, does Jake a is finally dance. like it's a... does Oh like... yeah. <laughs> Thank God Adam Line is here. Hip hip huzzah. We haven't no, gotten that's way, yet, that's but way... that's later. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, Jake does a funny little tap dance which makes made me laugh. Uh, he does a little tap dance. He does a little monkey noise. <laughs> Lucy, you had said you you, Lucy, you said you had muted the mic to, like, as we were, like, watching the episodes, <laughs> but I heard you laugh, so did you unmute just to show how fucking funny that was to you? <laughs> yes, I did, I unmuted so I could, so, cause, like, I was laughing very hard, and I was like, I need y'all to know how much this really got to me. It got to me, too. Just that little motion, the little tap noise that they added. <laughs> oh, it was it was lovely. <laughs> um, they go back to the lunchroom. He's still guessing, and he's like, "Slips." And he's like, "You already said slips." And uh, he's like, "Me, I'm the prank master general." And Windsor's like, "Well, I wish thought I was the prankster. I I can with my wit and my good impressions." And then he does. He does a he does, flat <laughs> joke, right? He, he, does, he does a Jake impression. He's like, hey, I'm Jake. La 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 la. Thank you. <laughs> Which one was that? <laughs> like, That's Windsor's I, character. He, I, he's, he's very deadpan. And, I, you know, I appreciate a, a character like that to even out the, the cast of, of yellers. And what Yellers. All, all these, all these loud mouths <laughs> and 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 fucking birds. <laughs> we need him for this. Oh man! Oh boy, do we need him! But so Jake is like really gonna prove that he's the prankest of the prank masters by showing, uh, by pouring over the old like legendary pranks of CDMS. And and it, he pulls out this little frilly book that looks adorable, and and it slips comes up and says, "Really, really, oh dude, that's like really nice. <laughs> Could you make me one? <laughs> what if Jake Spider Monkey had an Etsy? I I would buy and stuff he, from from his Etsy. I want I want to support he, him, especially after this he episode." Put, <laughs> He put little he put little trinkets up there like um like shiny thing uh like stickers or whatever he makes stickers or, or uh, he he ties or, ropes and like makes little knots and he sells those knots like the monkey yeah, fits. Sells, the, the monkey <laughs> the monkey <laughs> he sells knots and he sells shiny thing enamel pens and like. A picture. Really frilly books. Some, um, you know those mouse pads that are like anime girl boobs, but. Shut <laughs> up! Instead, it's Jake Spider Monkey's butt! Get on that! Somebody get on that! <laughs> get on that! Soon coming to the My Chim Partners a Podcast store. <laughs> that we- <laughs> Jake Spider Monkey ass titty mouse pad. <laughs> We gotta get on with this episode. So, Adam is there in the hallway. It's another transition. Adam is reading the book. He's like, this is all great. How are you gonna top this? And Jake's like, oh, I'm gonna TP to school. And Adam is like, oh, that's not a really good one. You need to do something yeah. unexpected. I, 
I, l- yeah, like, send a student to the moon? <laughs> yeah, that was one Jake, of those. Jake did that. He did that at one point. No, somebody, not, somebody else did. Like, somebody else did? I thought that was, like, a list of, like, pranks that he had done because he was, like, the prank master. General. No, it was pranks that had been done during prank week at Charles Darwin Middle School. Damn, who sent somebody to space? <laughs> I don't know, somebody did. But uh, just as Adam is saying this, he tr- comically trips over a root and knocks into Miss Tusk, who is uh, carrying some oil. That <laughs> slips, uh, that spills onto the ground as all the faculty get out of the faculty room. They slip on it. All at once. Crash yeah, into, <laughs> they, they crash into a tree. All the birds fly out and then all the leaves like cover them as they're covered in the slicked oil. And it proves to be the most hilarious prank of prank week yet and james ants is so funny let's che- give three cheers for adam new prank master general hip hip huzzah, huzzah. <laughs> and they like huzzah huzzah and they carry him out and jake is like I was the prank master. Me. And, and then um, Jake is brooding on a bench, just like furiously muttering to himself. Like, Adam could. He's like, he's like, fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. I, feel, I feel bad for Jake here. This this is his thunder. This is what he, he's good at. He's This is what he strives to be. Just like a little funny, funny monkey. But now, now the human has become the funny monkey. What is he now? Uh, what does he have left? Jake has a lot of issues with identity. And he, he, he needs something to latch on to, Adam. How could you take this from him? Jesus, Adam. You selfish prick. You stole this. <laughs> he had one thing that made him feel whole. <laughs> I, I like this episode, though, because it doesn't try to be like so uh cynical and like just really depressing by like really getting down on jake it's it's funny it's all in good jest because adam isn't being a jerk about it he's just really oblivious about it (laughs) all yeah he kind of apologizes too he's like jake i didn't really mean to steal your thunder there but then like jake is like oh you just watch adam lie like he says his full name (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he said his whole name. Like he, he he called him Adam Lyant, like the whole thing. It was kinda in like Tom Kenny's Star Scream voice too. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam seems concerned. And then we cut to Jake and he's talking in a megaphone and he, he's he's kinda talking like an old snake oil salesman where he's like, you know, step right up, step right up, way, step back, kid, step back. Um I'm gonna put this Kool Aid in the fish tube, and the, they're gonna go crazy. But they don't. Uh, they just. They just really like. It. They they like it. <laughs> wow, like, wow cherry, the, like, cherry cute little sugar fish. Aid is my favorite. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. You're not supposed to like it, you stupid fish. <laughs> oh. But they do. <laughs> they all do love it. I like how the fish was just like, oh, well, uh, sorry. <laughs> Like, this whole episode is kind of full of just, like, Jake being furious and nobody really caring. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they're, they're like, apologizing, but, like, it, Jake's still holding on to that fury. Yeah, like, he can't really, like, he's just so hung up on this, but it's really something that nobody's trying to compete with him at. It's just that he's kind of just failing in every regard. <laughs> and, like, we did another transition and it's the same crowd that was watching him before. And he's got a jar of crickets now. He's got a jar of crickets in front of Principal Pixie Frog's office. Which, I think, Ooh. I think Jake really is just losing his thunder here, though. Because I, I do not see how this is a prank by any means. <laughs> But he puts some cricket, he like throws it in the office, and then Principal Pixie Frog's like, Oh, Jake, did you bring me my lunch without being told? Thank you so much. And, um, it was so <laughs> sweet. <laughs> and then this part <laughs> fucking killed me. It's like Adam suddenly walking by, and he's got like a pie and a fork, and he's like, Hey, Jake, want some pie? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and then he trips, and it just splashes right on the Principal Pixie Frog. <laughs> 
there's there's a part where where uh, principal pixie frog he 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 thanks jake and then he he says here's a tip and he and it looks like he's gonna give him like a, a dollar but then he takes it away and he says two before you swallow God, it's just, it kind of gives me, um, it beckons back, doesn't it, to our, our crusty crab speaking days, our, 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 our Mr. Krabs, like, sort of OTP. It really does. Of, because that's something I feel that that, that crustaceous cheapskate would do. <laughs> Alright, so we were on pie. It's just, it's just so funny. I love this kind of joke where it's just, oh, well, hey, what's going on? I just got, I'm carrying this random object. The whoops! <laughs> I'm carrying this big whoopsie. old cake. A whoopsie daisy. It's like when just... you're watching a children's movie and you see a big old cake and you know oh, someone's gonna fall in the cake <laughs> like a mess. <laughs> what do y'all think about you know? Uh, like clown pies like like a cream pie like just that's just literally yeah. whipped cream <laughs> y- yeah like what's up with those anyway <laughs> i always thought <laughs> what's the deal with clown pies uh, this... all right <laughs> they, they give him three additional cheers added to the ones they gave him earlier because he's still their prank master general that was so funny at him um and then there's another transition Jake tries to whoopee cushion Mr. Hornbill, who is for some reason teaching a science class. It catches the building on fire. <laughs> and Adam desperately tries to put it out. He's he's probably the only one that would be able to put it out, huh? Animals would be like, oh, fire, scary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that, animals. That, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're betraying animal kind. <laughs> Um, so, so and and that gets counted as a prank, and they give more cheers to Adam and Jake angrily under the the the, the foam is just like oh, that's it. <laughs> so his next prank, he's on the school sign, and he and he has written, Jake thinks school stinks, and uh, Windsor slips are like looking on, and Windsor's like, I guess that counts as a prank. <laughs> I think I think the funniest thing about like this sort of like you know the scene is how for some reason Jake's name is already on there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jake and you know what I mean. Are, like <laughs> the normal like uh, lettering, but then like thinks and school is uh, just both different lettering. Like he had to get extra ones. It's very odd. But also, I mean, they they put anything up on that board. Yeah, they they do would put even, a lot of stuff on there. Would it even really be a prank, Jake? They put silly stuff on there all the time. Adam walks by, trips on something again or something, hits the sign, and Jake falls off, and the words uh, think school fall off, and it just says Jake stinks. Uh, <laughs> when... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet release. Such a Good job. Uh, Adam seems confused, though. Um, Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> <laughs> Was a line that Jake said in a funny little voice. Uh, so we go into the boys' locker room where Adam is in, in a little towel. Uh, he opens up his locker, and it, there's a little note there that reads, Let's see you steal my thunder without any clothes on. It's Jake hanging on a vine behind him. He was reading the the note, and and he just steals his towel right from his bare bod, and and locks him in in the locker room. <laughs> just knocking, like howling to get out. And then the water started filling up the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Jake drowns him. <laughs> It's, it's, it, well, that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen, but it's, it's not a pretty sight as he starts, uh, stealing all the nails. Uh, I guess not. Yeah, he, he, he starts stealing all the nails, uh, from the, from the walls with, with a big magnet, an oversized magnet. Did you mention that he strips Adam? Did yeah, 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 that? yeah, we did. Yeah, 
<laughs> he stole his clothes and locked him in a room to leave him for dead. And, that is what and happened. And then in an elaborate sequence, animation sequence, he just gets a big magnet and apparently the school's being held up by nails. So he gets all the nails out of the wall, then blows on it a little bit and they all come tumbling down and he's like, look, my prank. And then uh, Adam has his butt out and they think it was Adam's prank the whole time. Yeah, the door falls, <laughs> the f door falls down, Adam is just completely exposed and then they pick him up and I see the most disgusting oh, image of Adam line I've ever seen him curled him curled up in the hands of a bunch of animals completely fucking naked exposed to the elements his his ass just out I guess well he's got a leaf uh... he's got a leaf but it's it doesn't make it any better <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't make it any better. But uh, so Adam generously decides to sh to share in the glory with Jake of of being prank master general. <laughs> little old me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's like, what old what old the me. fuck your friends for, dude? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but it turns out, you know, in a twist of fate, uh, him them sharing the glory ends up being just them nailing all the nails back into Ch Charles Darwin Middle School and it's 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 a tragic ending where you're like oh well you know uh got to got to nail back the nails no it was yeah, just funny this of, is a, a chuckle I, one yeah this it was, it was it was a good one uh i really liked that they just you know shared in in this in the the drama it wasn't just like a one-sided uh t uh t depresso fest like uh some other episodes are with adam it was it was just like they they both got got their goofs their chuckles and and they shared in the in the blame in the yeah, end yeah i wanted i wanted to like really just just like stress how much i like the fact that they both ended up getting like you know kind of ah dang it in the end kind of kind of screwed over like i like it when cartoons do that where it's like it isn't just one character you know that gets completely just shat on it's like it, it it's both of them and it's kind yeah. of like they're in it together you know like that that was what made like edda and eddie to go back to Edda and Eddie. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, it was always um, the, those three guys like getting into something. Well, that was a good episode. Let's uh, move on to the next one. What's the next episode, Gert? Gert? Well, the next episode is uh, Talking Teddy. And hey, y'all remember uh, from... Uh, y'all remember a little thing called Goosebumps Night of oh. Living Dummy? <laughs> I oh. do. <laughs> Uh, I actually read that uh, a while back, uh, Night of the Living Dummy. It's a you good kinda read. kind of got a situation like that going on in this episode, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, as you can tell, there's a bit of a dummy situation. Ooh. Woo! Woo! Uh, so, uh, so, this is a Windsor, another Windsor-centric episode. I feel like Windsor's been getting a uh, lot of the spotlight in like a flat, these last few episodes. Well, it's because he's the most, yeah. like, fleshed out character <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> a side character. He he's the most fleshed out one. Yeah, like, he, he, you know, he deserves some respect, dang it. Like, he, he has some character- Stop raising your voice. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stop that right now. You, you cut that shit out on my podcast. <laughs> Well, all right. I'm so, <laughs> but I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he's, he's getting this development. That he. I disagree. <laughs> Objection. I still hate Windsor. Well, well, all right. I am, I am now neutral towards Windsor. I neither like nor dislike him. I look at him as what he is, a monkey, <laughs> an ape. Now. Well, that's this a... episode is very funny, though. <laughs> yeah, this episode's good. Anyway, Night of the Living Dummy. Who's the dummy now, dummy? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Lots so of... We've got kind of one of those going <laughs> on. Prince of the Frog comes on the announcements, and he's like, I'm here to... This is your fifth announcement today. Well, 
And he just, that's <laughs> all. <laughs> and he's like, that was a good joke. That made me laugh. <laughs> he's like, like, I'm so bored, Miss Warhog. I have nothing to do. Give me something to do. And she's like, well, you have a new student. You can fill out this paperwork. And hooray. Oh, finally, a loophole. Finally, I could get funding. I could take advantage of the government. <laughs> so th- there's a new student, is- and, and, and the school's overcrowded, which necessitates emergency funding. Moolah. Who? How small does this school have to be for, like, I know there's a lot of students we haven't seen, but, like, I feel like we've seen a majority of them, and this school doesn't seem that overcrowded to me. Well, I mean, uh, like, but- the fish population <laughs> probably accounts that's what I was going to suggest, too, is probably the Think about the, the faculty. <laughs> Fair. That's, uh, <laughs> there, maybe, maybe it's less of a space issue and more of a there's nobody fucking teaching but Mr. Hornbill problem. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, uh, it's a new, it's new student. Jake is like, goes up to Adam. He's like, hey, did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear the new student? Hey, did you hear? Did you hear about it? Did you? Did you? And then... Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I just think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they make him say it a bunch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he just grabs, God. He grabs Jake by the tail and t- t- twirls him around and then w- before gently putting him down. And Jake's like, did you? <laughs> and he's like, um, I just hope he's better than this, the last new student we get. And then um, Adam's like, Oh, I was the last new student. Jake? Yeah, that guy. That fucking idiot. <laughs> he, he even goes further to insult him, saying, uh, That's what I like about you, Adam. Always willing to make a point at your own expense. <laughs> <laughs> I was half expecting Adam to then look at the camera and go, Zuh? But he didn't. I was disappointed. <laughs> uh, but then we uh, go to Mr. Hornbill's classroom, where he gets insulted even more. As- yeah, because it, it cuts to Mr. Hornbill's class, and he's like, so you've heard, we're getting a new student. Uh, you know, I hope it works out better than that last new kid. And Adam just, like, sighs. He doesn't even, like, seem that upset about it. <laughs> he just it. takes it. It's like, he's like, oh, this is the this is the joke that they hammer into me to death this one i guess i'm today i guess i'm just gonna take it (laughs) i'm tired i'm not gonna deal with it so mr hornbill introduces the student his name is teddy roosevelt (laughs) teddy (laughs) truman teddy truman is his name teddy truman yeah uh i guess i guess windsor was a fan of the president's roosevelt truman i guess so (laughs) he's (laughs) my idols so so anyway uh he's a dummy uh is he who's the dummy now dummy (laughs) so it's windsor's puppet and we've seen windsor's puppet before in the documentary episode i think it was the one with the crazy lady yeah that was the first Um, showing of it and that's right we did didn't so it was planted in season one (laughs) They, they, they. There was a seed. They, they must have like, you know, they just they, had the. They had him from the get go. They had the design laying around. They're just like, we gotta do something with this funny little guy. More than just one show. I bet I, I know what happened. I bet episode. like, they were, you know, halfway. Season one was like out or coming out, and they were like pretty much done with production of season two. Um, and they went onto the Nicktoons, uh, you know, blogs. The, 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 the um, what are they called? Threads, you know, those places. Yeah. And they just saw people being like, oh, it was so funny when Windsor showed us a puppet. In- you said Nicktoons. I'm just, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, just sorry. Yeah, that now. Okay. Well, it was- <laughs> you said Nicktoons. I thought you were going somewhere with, like, uh, they were trying to compete. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. And I was really, and it's I was because really I used to invested go- in that story. I used to go to the Nicktoons <laughs> boards. Anyway, the Cartoon Network's <laughs> message boards. Shade. And... Like, they saw people, like, on there being like, man, it was really funny that one gag with uh, Windsor and that puppet in the documentary episode. And then he's like, well, I wrote a bunch of headcanons about him and his puppet. I think, like, it'd be really interesting if there was an episode about that. And then, like, a lot of people really got into the idea. And then, like, people started drawing, like, real versions of the puppet. Like, real t- versions of the puppet. 
Like, and there's probably like a picture, like like probably there's like somebody, you know, like those people, like back in the day who like in magazines they would like submit something that they yeah. made. Yeah, they make they make like a public oh of it, and it's like it's not like really like good or that impressive, but like it's still like you know like kind of. It's like, oh, cool! You know, like, if you like the show. It's There's a, a picture thing. of, like, Windsor and Teddy as, not a puppet, but, like, as an actual bear, and they're like, it's like, I could be your devil or your angel. <laughs> 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 Windsor and the puppet. Uh, so, Where were we? <laughs> so, Teddy Truman uh, is is a, a dummy, and he's talking, and he's a little funny puppet, says he's from the School of Hard Knocks. Adam sees right through this from the get-go. He sees a little, like, hey, th- that's just a puppet. He even says it, like, at lunch, like, you guys b- believe this? Yeah, that's just a puppet. That's that's fucking horrible, Adam. Don't you call, you take that back. <laughs> yeah. What does puppet mean? So, t- <laughs> they they don't even know, like, what a puppet is, and but they, they feel offended th- somehow. <laughs> but. New thing for... A new word for Twitter to not allow us to write. <laughs> if you call someone a puppet, you get suspended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> puppet account, puppet uh, account. Men- Windsor mentions that, you know, animals can't really tell puppets. He says it's probably because of early childhood memories. And there's a, a scene oh. of a baby oh. Jake spider monkey and a puppet hand, like, feeding him a bottle. Oh, and then the pup- and then the hand leaves the puppet and then Jake starts crying. <laughs> It's it's yeah, it's startling. I remember that scene really sticking with me when I was younger and kind of like making me feel really uncomfortable. Well, that's what like yeah, that's yeah, what like, you know uh, do, do they you know you, they feed the babies. But like my question is, Jake has parents, like, right? Yeah, he yeah. does. And, uh, and I, what I think is these they're his surrogate <gasps> or parents. Or maybe they weren't fit to take care of him, <laughs> like, when he was a baby. So, like, they, like, stole him away and then gave him back. That's what I think. Yeah, it's just, you know, when you... It's a real, like, world animal thing with zoos. But when you input it into this society of sapient animals... You, you get some questions. You get some <laughs> yeah, ethical like, issues. Yeah, but like, Renee, they're all stupid, so it's fine. <laughs> did, I forgot to mention it. I don't know if we mentioned it. Did I ever, Did we mention the fucking uh, cross, crossing fingers joke? Uh, no, we didn't. No, like, okay, that was ba- funny. back I didn't. I, I wanted to talk about that and also a poster I saw on the wall <laughs> in Mr. Hornville's class. So rewind for a second. Back in the classroom. And we, Absolutely, we, little person. <laughs> when they, when, they, when Mr. Hornville, you know, makes mention of, like, let's cross our fingers to make sure, that, you know, this this new kid works out. And every single student looks at their hands and, like, they have, like, paws or claws or, like, slips, looks at his tail. And it, like, it's, like, silent for, like, a good, good while. And then Mr. Hornville's, like, looking at his own big old hooves. And he's, like, well, never mind about that. Yeah. You well, know. well that, 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 he's, like... That doesn't work. That doesn't. Um, and then I wanted to mention when, like, I think it, there's a shot of like Lupe and Ingrid. Uh, yeah, the, the, and, the. I think, and I, all I know is that there's a poster on the wall that says two can do it, two can do it," and it's a picture of a two can with like thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to imagine. <laughs> like, we, we've seen that uh, poster before in the background. It was very centered on this frame, which is why I remember. Imagine. It. <laughs> Imagine if that was the Lupe that we got, like that silhouette. Like, what if she like was more anthropomorphic and less of just a bird? Scary. Would we be scared? Scary. <laughs> um, Windsor is trying to explain what's going on with him. He he says that he was at home, and we get a shot of a little flashback scene where he's at, in the zoo, and he's like in his underwear, looking at a mirror with the puppet on. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> he's he's at home practicing a who's on first. Uh, yeah. A if, who's you, on. if you were all curious, <laughs> Windsor wears tidy whities If anyone was curious, <laughs> that's what he wears. We get to know that. So he's he's practicing a who's on first bit, uh, but very deadpan. And because of his animal brain, his psyche, he starts getting crazy eyes, like. And then he's just like, ow. <laughs> Like, 
he, he, he started developing, like, this uh, separate personality for Teddy because, you know, even though he's aware that it's a puppet, like, his animal brain perceives it as another entity. And it's, it's developed into its own entity. Uh, much, much like Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Uh, <laughs> uh, their personality. What if the Hulk was just a puppet that he fucking carried around on his hand, but it was still just as strong and invincible as the Hulk? I would love that. That would be my new favorite. Get on puppet that. Puppet Hulk? Puppet Hulk. Get on that, but yeah. Uh, so... He, he, he thinks it's like a, a puppet, and he desperately wants Adam to help. He can't yeah. control it. He's like, "Help me, Adam." He goes. He goes. <laughs> Winston's like, "Adam, please help me. Help me, Adam." <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, uh, I've grown to hate Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> and he like <laughs> tries to so he's like well why don't you take him off your hand and Windsor's like oh I hadn't thought of that and so he tries to but Teddy literally like bites him and, and Windsor screams <laughs> ah! <laughs> and, and then work. this next scene this during this scene like some like eerie scary music starts like kind of quietly Ooh. creeping up in the background and, he's, and Teddy's like woohoo woohoo woo and you know Adam can't get him off either because Teddy's gonna, you know, bite him and they're gonna fight. And uh, and this like, bear mentioned he's this dangerous. This bear's mentioning that uh, Adam, uh, to like develop an example, he used his hand and is like, "Oh, I'm stupid hand," and everyone's like, "Oh, hi, stupid hand." Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> how did we? How did we? It's very important to this episode, actually. <laughs> And and so and they're all like, "Hi, stupid hand." <laughs> they they all just <laughs> Principal Pixie Frog even comes in and is like, "Well, well, well hi, hi, stupid hand. Well, like, here's your paperwork, and we can get you all signed up for your classes uh, in no time." Like, like he does he even know? Do you think somebody thought about this idea of like stupid hand because like they had a cat at a yacht that was like little. Because I feel like whenever I have, like, a kitten or something, they, like, recognize my hands and my feet as separate entities from, like, my body or my face. Yeah, that's definitely got to be a thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, like, you know, it, 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 it tracks. It's, a, it's an animal thing. They, they don't uh, per- perceive it. So it, it definitely works as a basis for this episode of just... Uh, animals confusing limbs for separate people but uh, stupid hand and Teddy they get in a bit of a scuffle uh, principal pixie frog catches wind and he, he tries to separate them you know uh, don't don't you be fighting now <laughs> and he just look Adam just like kind of looks at his hand and he's just like he just puts it down and <laughs> principal <laughs> pixie frog. <laughs> does something that I think's really funny. He goes, "Oh, that's nice." Like they're playing nice. <laughs> I love I so love happy. that bit so much. <laughs> Just like, "Oh, that's nice." That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, that's nice. So, yeah, uh Principal Pixie Frog also admires his bow tie. Bow ties. Yeah, yeah, he goes, "Bow t- it goes it shows a picture frame uh a, with them both and he goes, it "Bow ties." A little Josh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now, now you know we get the goal of of this episode of them of Adam trying to separate Windsor and Teddy, the host and the symbiote. And it's difficult. It's very difficult. It proves to be, as uh, well. First off, we see them uh, in the front of Principal Pixie Frog's office. Windsor trying to graffiti the sign, saying "Principal Poopy <laughs> Fraud." <laughs> fucking nice nice <laughs> uh and and th- this the plan is to basically get t- teddy and windsor separated but of course teddy's not having it <laughs> well he, he like says some like i think adam says like you're, if you bite principal pixie frog you're gonna go to juvie uh t- teddy and teddy's like there's no juvie for puppets idiot <laughs> 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 that's right. That's that's what instigates and, uh, it. Principal Pixie Frog comes out, and they're um. Oh, do we do we do that already? 
Uh, no. Uh, he comes out and they're. And he's like, well, what, what's all this then? Uh, Adam uh, gets mixed up with with the marker, and he gets plain blamed. Oh no! <laughs> two two detentions. Why? For you and your your buddy there. Stupid hand. Uh, and then they're they're in the fields at Coach Gill's class, and they're picking. They're doing the whole, you know, picking teams. You know, uh, Adam and Jake are the team captains, and Jake loudly proclaims, "I want Dicky on my team." <laughs> and Dicky <laughs> goes over on his team. Um, and Adam tries to to use this as an opportunity to split up Windsor and Teddy again because he's the last one hasn't been picked. And so he's like, "Well, I want Windsor. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to split him up." But Teddy is like, "No, you didn't count Stupid Hand." And uh, yeah, truth they, be told, stupid they, hand. They use stupid <laughs> hand. Phoenix, Phoenix right moment right there. They use stupid hand very cleverly in this episode. He's not just like a one note gag, which I really appreciate. He's like central to this like conflict. It's, it's interesting how relevant stupid hand like is in this episode. <laughs> he's very relevant. Like he's basically a new character. Yeah. I'm really glad that he's like a new member of the cast. And and since uh, Stupid Hand is on Adam's team, uh, Teddy sticks with Windsor, but not before uh, Teddy given the old gag. Hey, Adam, your shoelaces is untied, and he, he smacks him in the I think face. The funniest thing about this is that Windsor is the one who like grabs the hand and like you like start smacking him with it. <laughs> So it's like Windsor has no control of his entire body. <laughs> it's terrifying. Um, Windsor, they they I'm play they're playing to ultimate help you. fetch, and uh, there's no paw catches, mouths only. Uh, Slips gets the stick. He gets eaten by the hippo lady girl, and she spits him out. And then there's a whole you know there's a whole like gaggle of things that happens it's not important who cares at the end of it it's just like a fu- it's a bunch of fucking animals playing sports and then um, adam catches it with his hand and teddy's like that's a foul you can't do that and he's like well no stupid hand caught it with his mouth ba, ba, ba. just like teddy shakes violently <laughs> he's with so, anger he's so angry uh <laughs> <laughs> Teddy tries to tell Adam his shoelaces are untied, and he's trying not to look. And then Adam starts sweat. <laughs> yeah, he starts like shaking and sweating, like he wants to look, but he can't. He's like, and then he does look, and he's like, "Oh, they're untied." But then he gets, just gets smacked again. Make your look! Make your look! <laughs> he's like, "You, you asshole! You, you're." S- God. God, Teddy's awful. I'm glad that. I'm glad that this episode ends the way it does. <laughs> and so, in this final sequence here, Adam gets the idea to tie his shoelace to the fetch stick. He throws it for Teddy to grab, and of course, he pulls on the string to launch Teddy off of Windsor's arm and t- frees Windsor. And he says, finally, I'm free. <laughs> finally. And and uh, Teddy gets knocked into Principal Pixie Frog's office, where coincidentally, uh, a new school that uh, is in need of a new student is found, and Teddy will be sent off shortly. Uh, and he is on a on a a bus to an animal school. Uh, I don't know, cause he goes into like a human-looking bus. I mean, you know, the bus for Charles Darwin looked pretty human like at first but we've seen what the bus looks like on the inside and it's like an animal bus it's got like jungle vines and crap this was just a regular bus there's oh. no telling where they sent him <laughs> he, he, he could be on far, who knows where but like he's gone everybody is lamenting his loss even Windsor who you know I guess it's just come on and everyone is, is kind of sad but uh and Adam is like, you know, me and Stupid Kid don't like all these comments about, you know, the last new kid not being good, because we, we were the last new kids. And then uh, Principal Pixie Frog's like, oh, your narcissism knows no bounds, <laughs> Adam Lion. <laughs> we're talking about this kid. And he po- opens, he pulls out a box. Oh, God. And then he opens it up. And it, there's like a 
what is it? I don't know what it is. It's like a uh, dried it, up creature. It, it's an eye yeah, eye. It's... <laughs> all right, all right. Animal facts So, animal fat corner here. Uh, that is an eye eye, which uh, legend, uh, local legend says its stare will curse you oh. to death. Oh no! All right. <laughs> yeah. So more of a animal legends corner, but uh, there's that. Uh, they're critically endangered, and also uh, here's an animal fact: that thing is dead in that box. That is not an alive creature. <laughs> Maybe if you put water on it, it'll come back to life. No, no, that is dried up husk. The, the ending credits sequence is just the like a shot of the bus lady for the bus that Teddy's in, like, driving, and she looks, like, really nervous, and she keeps looking back at the puppet, and she's, like, sweating. <laughs> God, I feel it's so really hurt. funny. <laughs> she's, she's such a nice-looking bus lady, but then, uh, Teddy comes up to her, and then her <laughs> bus careens off of the cliff, and then they come back up with Teddy saying, Woohoo! Which is scary. So it was... It's a scary, <laughs> haunting way to end the episode. It implies that Eddie has like, Eddie. absorbed enough. Uh, gotta bring it back. Eddie! Eddie! Eddie, Eddie Let Eddie, me dissect Eddie, it, Ed! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dissect it! Smash it with a hammer! Make it stop! <laughs> Jesus Teddy. Christ. So those were our episodes. I liked them. I thought... Yeah. I thought I thought they were pretty good. Uh, I liked the Windsor focus here. Uh, I did not think we'd be getting Windsor focus on, on one of these episodes, but we did, and that was nice. Uh, I, I liked the horror aspect of, like, the puppet episode. But maybe maybe this was meant as, like, a Halloween special or something originally. Like a Night of the Living Dummy. Maybe so. Something like that. But uh, anyway, they, these, so. these were good. Let's talk about um, fan art and comments. Oh boy, fan art and comments. So, fan art and comments. Uh, if uh, you can send in some comments, uh, s- send us some art on Twitter, and we'll read them all up. Uh, we we appreciate every bit of uh, art and just uh, feedback we get. So do yeah, it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've, yeah, always. I feel like I said this before, but if we talk about fan art on this show, we've always. Uh, we retweet it to our own Twitter, and we also put it in the descriptions of our YouTube videos, so you can always find it there. So please support these wonderful people, and the and the, and the wonderful. Th- I'm looking at the first fan art. And like, okay, so the first one, um, it's from at Jace has the funk. So I was listening to at my gym partner's podcast, thank you. And recently, Renee brought up Jake being an amalgamation of primates, and as a result, I drew Jake as a hybrid of different apes and monkeys, and even humans. And oh, man. it's um, a picture of Jake. <laughs> it's, He's it, giving us a look. <laughs> it's completely horrifying, and it's more than I could have hoped for. I'm I'm glad people are backing my theories about this, and and this episode only. Uh, supplanted that theory uh, supported it with like the idea that Jake was raised by puppets in a lab and uh, I just appreciate you know people t- drawing these theories of mine to life thank you so much I like how in this picture instead of having normal sleeves they're like ripped like <laughs> like he... <laughs> yeah like he hulked out like... Like, that is the shirt that Jake of the show wears. Yeah. It's the same size, uh, but this Jake is bigger, more powerful. Thank you for your, thank you for your art. It's thank wonderful. You. Thank, thank you for, you your, for um, this bioweapon. Who, who uh, Renee, I'll give you the next one. Okay, so this next one uh, was made by at Ryan Ribbit. And uh, they said, you all should really be listening to At My Gym Partners, a podcast. And we got Windsor in Joker cosplay saying, this says a lot about our society, Jake. No respect for us gamers. And it's, I, I just really like this. <laughs> I think he would really cosplay the Joker. <laughs> it's a very accurate, like, 
depiction of Windsor if he decided he was going to dress up like the Joker for like Comic Con or something. Oh my God! <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. And 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 Jake would he would probably get Jake along to cosplay as like Harley Quinn. <gasps> oh, I want to see Jake as oh. a Harley Quinn. <laughs> oh my God. We have to specify the the older Har- Harley Quinn or the newer one. Any. <laughs> Any Harlequin. You're all good. Give, give Jake pigtails. Give Jake gesture. Gesture hat. Big hammer. Uh, make Any make work. Jake voice by Terrence. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mister A. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, this is this is very funny. I really like the textures they used um, for like the face and the hair. It really just like adds to the grunginess. It it makes it feel more jokery, doesn't it? Yeah, there's there, there's a quality to it. Also, uh, tiny Jake in the corner, trans trans rights. Hell yeah. <laughs> trans, 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 yeah trans rights. Yeah. Trans rights. Hell yeah. I love I love that. Thank you. It's it's really good. Thank you again. Uh, let's read some comments, huh? Yeah. Um, this comments from. Cat Comics Studios. That's comics with a X and a Z at the end. Given what little we can get from Jake, I suspect that gender fluid would be the most accurate term for him. He seems fairly comfortable at most times be referred to as male, but I swear we've seen times where she presents and labels herself female. Can't remember if Jake clarifies in the egg episode. Awesome. He- Anyway. Jake does refer to herself as, like, a mom. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's but. true. Also appropriate that it's called the egg episode. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Adam <laughs> Anyway, Adam is a red herring protagonist. The real journey of my gym partner as a monkey is Jake coming to terms with his attractions and identity. I agree. That's, yes. the, that's what the yeah, show is absolutely. all about. <laughs> it's it's really it's the main we've been focal saying point. This whole time. It's 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 a really like in depth show for real, where the, the, we get a multifaceted character like Jake exploring like their own humanity and and just trying to find their way in this world through middle school. It's got a lot of intertwining. There's so many themes. layers to Jake. I feel like we learn something new about him like every day. For sure. <laughs> I do too. It's just like it's just so dynamic, you know. <laughs> um, I like this next comment this a... here by Xenon on our YouTube. Uh, they say the name Euripides seems to imply that either Bull's parents or Euripides herself have an interest in classical Greek literature. Where did they read this? Not in animal school, surely. Why must Charles Darwin confine their students to dirt class when this implies a vast capacity for learning? Folks, comma. Folks, the sapient animal societies, man. (laughs) Like, there's obviously people in the school who want to know more, who want to know the world, who... who They they desire knowledge. But But they can't get it. They refused it outright. And it's it's sickening, honestly. Just ah, uh, like we we they 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 keep presenting these like ethical dilemmas through this like animal narrative. Like they you, they didn't have to do this, but like this is what we're left it's with awful. in the Mind and Partners of Monkey Universe. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> uh, Gert, will you read our last comment? Yeah, of course. So this is a comment sent in by Sleepy Nook. Something I just thought about. How do reptiles and fish grow hair in the My Gym Partners A Monkey universe? Also, can Jake die? No, I think he's immortal. Um, no, he's fine. <laughs> yeah. He's... He's... Ever vested. Just so damn vulnerable. It's... Uh, Omnipresent. Wait, vulnerable. Invulnerable. Invulnerable. <laughs> He's, he's, so he's vulnerable too, but in different emotionally. It's emotional vulnerability. Uh, uh, as for the reptiles um, thing, I think reptiles have uh, just they, because of nuclear radiation, uh, as per our radiation theory, uh, they just like naturally grew hair, mutated it, 
just uh, and like styled it. Oh, uh, that or they just you know wear wigs. I think they're wearing wigs. Case. Yeah, definitely. Slips is absolutely yeah. wearing a wig. Wig. <laughs> what wig? <laughs> Yo, dude, you snatched my wig. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty righteous. Uh, well, I've had fun today. Me too. I, it's been, it's been a fun podcast here, just going wild. It's been a good yes, episode. Our next episodes I... are gonna be uniformity and <sighs> pants in space. <laughs> yeah, another Windsor episode. <laughs> Sorry. So are these te- these are technically the last episodes of season two, right? Yes, they are. In fact, we might have a special guest. We don't know yet. Possibly. Just teasing you. We might have a special guest for that one, for our season two finale. Oh, so check us out. It'll be a real fun episode. It, it might. It will be. We'll have drinks, uh, refreshments. Yeah, we'll get the, mm. also, let's take a seat. You know, we've got comfy chairs. It's, it's just, you know, stay all a while cool and listen to our all season sorts finale. Of cool stuff. Uh, all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Oh, one one thing before we leave, um, instead of our usual outro. Oh. We are gonna be at San no, Diego. We're not gonna, no, don't say that. We're not. Don't lie. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> instead of our usual outro, instead, um, I, if you listen to the last episode, not the bonus one, but the one before that, um, I, I sang you a rendition of the Darkwing Duck theme song um, with my very own <laughs> lyrics, and Shirley heard this and she decided she was going to fully realize it. And I'm going. We're gonna play that instead of um, our outro. So let's sign off here. I'm Lucy. This is Renee. I am Gert. And this has been Darkwing my... fucked my wife. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the end. See ya. I want to hear that. Daring a Darkwing fucked my wife. I can't believe he did this to me. Oh fuck. Me. Got a knife. I run and try to scream. I think my number's up. Dark wing cup. When there's trouble, you call the authorities. Dark wing cup. I can't believe Dark wing cup fucked my wife. Hey. Dark wing cup. Oh fuck! No! 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 Ah! Ah! Hey!